we are asked to solve the given equations. Notice both equations contain fractions. There is an optional step to clear the fractions from the equation, but in this video, we will be working with the fractions. Our first equation is x divided by three plus x divided by four equals three. The first step is to simplify both sides of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. Notice for this equation, we do have two like terms or two x terms on the left side of the equation that we can combine. Notice right now we have different denominators. We first must obtain a common denominator. The least common denominator is going to be the least common multiple of three and four, which is 12, which means we need to rewrite both fractions as the equivalent fractions with the denominator of 12. For the first fraction, because three times four is 12, we multiply the numerator and denominator by four, and because four times three is 12, we multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by three. And x times four is four x, giving us four x divided by 12, plus x times three is three x, giving us three x divided by 12. And this is still equal to three. Now at this point, it might be helpful to rewrite these two terms with coefficients. Four x divided by 12 is equivalent to four twelfths x plus three x divided by 12 is equivalent to three twelfths x. And again, this is still equal to three. And now to combine the like terms, we add the coefficients. Four twelfths x plus three twelfths x is equal to seven twelfths x. This gives us seven twelfths x equals three. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to isolate the variable. 7 twelfths x means 7 twelfths times x. So we are probably thinking we should divide both sides by 7 twelfths, which would work. But remember, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. And therefore, instead of dividing both sides by 7 twelfths, let's multiply both sides by 12 sevenths, which is a reciprocal of 7 twelfths. Twelve sevenths times seven twelfths is equal to one. Well, if we want to show the simplifying, there's one twelve and twelve here and here. There's one seven and seven here and here, which gives us one times one times x, which is x. We have x equals twelve sevenths times three as a fraction. We can write three as three over one. Nothing simplifies, and therefore we determine the product by multiplying the numerators and denominators. This gives us x equals 36 sevenths, which is our solution. Let's take a look at our second equation, which is six x divided by 11, which I'm going to write as six elevenths x equals eight x minus six. Notice for this equation, there are x terms on both sides of the equation, and therefore step one does not apply. We cannot simplify this term or simplify these two terms over here because they are not like terms. And therefore, we move to step two, where we add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation. Let's isolate the variable terms on the left side by undoing the positive eight x by subtracting eight x on both sides. This gives us six elevenths x minus eight x, but because we have a fraction here, I'm going to write eight as eight over one, and then x equals on the right. This difference is zero, and we still have negative six. And now this looks somewhat like the first equation where we have the like terms on the left side, which we can now combine after obtaining a common denominator. Well, the least common denominator here is going to be 11. We need to write eight over one as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 11, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator by 11. This gives us six elevenths x minus 88 elevenths x equals negative six. And now we can bundle like terms by subtracting the coefficients. Six elevenths x minus 88 elevenths x is equal to negative 82 elevenths x. This gives us the equivalent equation, negative 82 elevenths x equals negative six. And now we multiply or divide in order to isolate the variable. We have a product here. Instead of dividing by negative 82 elevenths though, let's multiply by the reciprocal 
of negative 11 80 seconds. So we multiply the left side by negative 11 over 82. We multiply the right side by negative 11 over 82. The product of the reciprocals is 1. 1 times x is x. If we want to show the simplifying, there's 111 and 11 here and here. There's 182 and 82 here and here, which gives us negative 1 times negative 1 times x, which is equal to x. On the right side, we have negative 11 over 82 times negative 6, or times negative 6 over 1. Notice here, though, we can simplify because 6 and 82 share a common factor of 2. There are 3 2's in 6 and 41 2's in 82. Also notice how we have a negative times a negative, and therefore the product will be positive, giving us x equals negative 11 times negative 3 is positive 33, and 41 times 1 is 41. Our solution is x equals 33 41st. I hope you found this helpful.